There's definitely like a drone above me. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, join me for a little hangover helper today. BK was deep on the crave. Got a nice sack of that. Got a cherry Coke. Let me get this set up and let's be eating together in the great outdoors. <laughs> hear the birds, hear the sky. You can't hear the sky, but it looks like it sounds nice. Okay, okay. Fork, check. Big old barbecue smelling burger, check. Schnappkins, check. Poontain, check. Cherry Coke, check. Gang's all here, check. All right, so it's going down like this. I'm a little hungover. I went live last night and got a little freaky beaky and uh, I need a cure. So BK it is, but we went off the beaten path today. So Cherry Coke, inaugural sip. Oh my God, there's nothing as good as a Cherry Coke, especially when you're in dire straits. Shades are staying on for this one because the clouds, it's sunny, but the clouds and they just keep messing with my mind. And I just, I definitely need the shades right now. Hangover helpers as well. Okay, so poutine, of course, but we went, we didn't get a Whopper today. And uh, I went way off the path. This is not like me, but I know it's gonna be amazing. I got the Roadhouse King. So that is two patties, cheese, barbecue, uh onion rings we got bacon we got mayo uh i added pickles i got them to add pickles so it looks incredible up close for you like i say two patties all the insides right there are popping nice hefty burg and we got our poutine the best the best a man can get he brought his own bottle of ketchup yes he did and so we drizz the perfect squirt right across. All right, let's dive into this. Poutine up first. One of the best things for a hang. Had a visitor, and now he's gone. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Nectar of the gods. Mm. So yeah, I was sitting at home last night. I was trying to be on my best behavior. I'm trying to make it one more day and that's till today. But it turned into such a beautiful evening. And my deck was just calling my name. So I had a few drinks. And then. Sometimes you get bored being alone, <laughs> having drinks, and then you go, oh, wait. At any given time, I have a community of people that I can just go live with and hang out with. <laughs> So that's what I did. So shout out to all y'all who came through and were asking stuff or saying stuff. I went deep in my drunk mind like I always do. But that for me is like the, is the fun shit of life. Like I love getting a bit faded and just having weird conversations with people who think alike or even disagree. It's always interesting to hear people's perspectives. Power perspective. <laughs> perspective. I like that shit. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. There's definitely like a drone above me. Oh, there it is. 
I thought that drone was like directly above my sun umbrella, but it's right there zipping by. You hear that? That's crazy. That was trippy. They're out to get me, bro. They're out to get me. So yes, thank you again for you guys hanging out. Uh, that's so dope to me that just at any moment, even when I'm bored, I can just be like, yeah, I can hang out with people. I got people to hang out with. Much different path for me. The reason I went this route is because due to simplicity because when there's too many like veggies and variables of food when I'm hungover, it's like it's too complex for my palate. shit just gets a little crazy gets a little weird that's why the hangover pizza is always just a pep and a cheese that's a burger though But yeah, man, ultimately the nice weather just got the best of me. Like, I don't know about you guys, but when the weather starts getting nice and you're trying to be like, you're trying to stay off the drinks and you just see how nice it is, you're just like, I'm such a sucker. Gets me all the damn time. Mm. That's the bite right there. With this little bit of extra mayo too. Perfect. But tonight will be no exception. My childhood best friend is coming over and we're gonna have some patio pops and probably get more ripped than, like I wasn't crazy drunk last night, but definitely like, definitely on one. Once you get a childhood bestie involved, as a game over. Most likely end up pickled. But that's what friends are for. No? Don't you think? Random side note, but Sauce Queen uploaded for the first time after her hiatus that she took due to her her friend Efren passing. Uh, that's very, very sad. And I watched the videos with him in it, and I just want to say, like, rest in peace to him and also Kristen. If you're watching this, I, I, I feel for you. I'm really sorry to hear that. Super unfortunate. And just the story about like his mom and like the loss of so many people. Oh. Her son's husband, all that, so. I just wanted to make my mouthful. Just quick reference to that and just say like, 
my condolences. Tragedy. Things we don't want to wish on anybody, especially at such a young age. I don't know how old he was. I assume he's probably, you know, 40 something, maybe 40. 40s. It's too soon. Much too soon. Hmm. It's hitting the hangover guy now. These burgers are so hefty. That's one thing about BK that like when you get a double patty. That's like the, the Whopper size patty. These burgers just get so hefty fast. Like McDonald's or even anywhere else really just, you get a double or whatever. Like it's so, they're like air, but Burger King is so sturdy. So to anybody who's ever eaten like a quadruple Whopper, like <laughs> I commend you on your efforts because that shit is crazy. I could never eat four patties of BK stack. Mainly because it's too dry, but also because it's hefty. But we're gonna do it. Call it a perfect meal. It certainly will be after the slam of this cherry coke. Mm -hmm. How do you guys feel about burps? I usually cut all my burps out. <laughs> But some people just leave them in like raw, man. And I just, I never know what to do. Cause they're not like, like burps are like not gross per se. They're pretty like just natural part of drinking and eating, but. I purposely don't find them like that offensive, but. Some people just leave them in so raw. <laughs> I usually try my best to cut them out just for the sake of the listener. I feel like it's just most people probably don't want to hear it. But some people get off on that shit, so it's strange. I don't know. Anyways, hello. Hello. Yes. What are you doing? We has we has a friend, guys. Hey. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Hey. Come here. Say hello. What do you say, hello? Give him some guff. Oh. No? Okay. Oh. All right, that'll do it for that one. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true, peace.